this. All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Morning Motivation and our worldwide community of network people across the world. We're here every day to bring an inspiration, a motivation, and a shift in your words and your thought process so you can live your life in a better direction with more focus and better energy. And that way you can give intentions to everything that you're doing today and not live willy nilly and doing everything else that is not getting you in the direction that you want to live. You know, every day we need to wake up with focus and intention. My first focus that I wake up with is saying thank you for everything that I have in my life. The blessings that I have with me and around me, the things that kept me warm, the bed that I was in, the clothes on my back, the roof over my head. And we say that every day before we start our day. And why? That's letting the universe know that you are ready to receive the gratitude and the abundance that they are going to bring to you. That is letting God know that you are have full intentions of living a life with direction and purpose. You know, a lot of us, you know, wake up every day wondering what is our purpose? Well, what makes you happy? What puts that happy step in your, your day? What puts that smile on your face on a day-to-day -day basis? What makes you have that energy right there? You do. So when you wake up and you, you say those thank yous and you're ready to receive those abundance, then you go to the mirror while you're brushing your teeth and cleaning up so you can look just as good as I do on a day-to-day -day basis. I love that part. I said that yesterday and it just clicked with me. I, you know, So you know, getting up every day with intention and knowing that you are awesome you can create everything that you're wanting to do. You can move yourself in the life direction that you want to move into all by the words that you put into that thought process. And the best part about it is we have learned and taught a lot of people within this group right here and worldwide that we work with on a day to day basis, because a lot of people that you see in here right now are mentors, are coaches and are helping and assisting other people to move their life into a new direction as well. We just built this right here. So we could bring energy to our community, but then the community started liking it and everybody else started sharing it out. So now we have this worldwide. There's more people in here, you know, that are building businesses, whether it's brick and mortar, whether it's online or something, say, some shape, form or fashion of that nature. But we all have also have preachers on here. We also have, you know, just community people that are looking for a good word, something to kickstart their day on a day to day basis, because we all need that. There's so much negativity in this world already. So why do we need to be somebody else that's going to bring more negativity? So we shifted our lives to bring uplifting words, uplifting messages, uplifting content on our social media pages. So you could have that as well, you know, and then that way when it's shared out uh, into the world, you know, with the YouTube channels that we have and stuff like that, where this is recorded on. So that way everybody else can come in here and catch the recordings and get the message as well. You know, because we do this seven days a week and a lot of people say, y'all are crazy. There's no way y'all have enough energy and enough content to be able to do that. I wake every, up every day looking for the words from him. And what do I do? I get in my meditation state and I ask him to bring the things that I need into my life to be able to have the words that I need to be able to speak to people, to be able to have the energy to be able to, Ooh, somebody's sharing pages. Let's not do that guys. Uh, this is the platform that we're all on and we're not here to share a page and share any information out. I just need everybody to either listen and or join in in a moment when it's open platform. So if you have come in, please mute yourself. And uh, we love and appreciate everybody that is stepping in with us on a day-to-day -day basis as well. You know, whoo, you made me lose my train of thought there for a second, guys. Wow. But it's okay. Because it's okay, Thomas. It's all good. No, no, you were, you were just talking about that, 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 right, that right frame of mind this morning. That's all. They said they, we couldn't do this seven days a week. We'll take that seven days a week. We've been doing it for almost seven months now, seven days a week, baby. Seven Let's months. go. Let's, that, and we're going to yeah. still keep it going seven days a month. And it's why it's because everybody that's in here right now, it's everybody that's in here that has brought the energy to the forefront. Everybody in here that is sharing this out and bringing good messages on a day to day basis. It's everybody in here that is sharing your love and your inspiration and bringing good words out to others as well. You know, because everyone in here has gotten up this morning and said their thank yous. Every one of them that you see in here has got up and given the gratitude to themselves as well knowing that you are a powerful source, just like we are, you know, every day I have a light that's within and I let it shine. Why? Because I was in a darkness once. And then once I figured out how my light could shine, it's going to shine every day now because I'm going to do it with intention. Now my light that I have within me, guess what? You have that same power within you. 
All you have to do is harness it and say, I want my light to shine. I want my energy to be able to be a vibration for others to be able to feel a frequency with my words that go out into this world to where it touches somebody's heart. It doesn't break their heart down, but it lifts their heart up to let them know that they are a powerful source as well. You know, because there is that tongue is a powerful source. That tongue is a powerful sword that can cut somebody with just a few words. So instead of cutting people with the negativity and bringing them down and trying to, you know, think that they need to do something different, all you need to do is uplift that person because you do not know the miles that they have walked in those shoes. You do not know what they have been through and the trials and tribulations are that they're going through right now. You know, so if we bring uplifting words to them, then guess what? It's going to encourage them to do something different within their life, to shake their life into a whole different direction to where they know that they are a powerful source just like you are. You know, so just like the children that are coming up, spend the time with them, nourishing them, letting them know that they are awesome and they are awesome creators. You know, yesterday I spent the day with my son since the computers and everything uh, was just acting up from day one, you know, from the get go yesterday morning. So what did I do? Instead of getting frustrated and taking a sledgehammer to my computer system, you know, I stepped away. Instead of pulling all my hair out and wanting to beat somebody up because this wasn't working like I wanted it to, stepped away. I went and took a deep breath. I went walking around a beautiful park. I went and spent the time with my son yesterday. He got out of, uh, you know, his school early. So I was able to go, you know, meet him. We went to dinner. And we're sitting there the whole time talking about different energies and this portal that we're doing right here on a morning basis. And he told me, thank you. He said, thank you to you, mom and his stepdad for giving him the knowledge and the inspiration through his entire life to let him know that he was worthy to do whatever he wanted to do and the direction he wanted it to go. All I could do is guide him. It's going to be his choices that he makes in life. Same thing with you guys. The choices that you make on a day-to-day -day basis are going to bring you where you want to go. Not my choices for you. You know, I want happiness for you. So if you wake up with happiness, I'm happy. If you wake up with sadness, well, I'm going to send out blessings to say, I hope you're happy today. You know, Renee chatted last night and said she wanted the link for this. And, you know, she had been uh, out for a little while because of the accident. I didn't know that, you know, so now, you know, she's got it. And last night it was like, you know, blessings to her. You know, I know she was feeling bad, you know, bruised up, feeling discomfort, you know, this, that, and the other. I sent blessings to her through energies of frequency to say, I hope you're feeling better and I hope it gets better. You know, why? Because that's what we do. We reach out to give uplifting words when people are down, when people are sick. You know, we don't go over there. Oh, poor pitiful you. You know, no, we go over there and we bring soup. We give words of encouragement. We may go sit and watch a movie with them. Or, we, you know, if somebody is down and out, then what are you going to do? You're going to go spend your time with them. That right there is more important than anything else in the world. You know, so if, you know, I know Sherry and her Nana is going through things. Sherry has the time to be able to spend the time with her. And that's what Nana wants. And that's what Nana needs, right? Is that time and that energy from her and that love that she is able to give to her at that time frame. You know, I have friends that are going through many things that, you know, no, I know I can't fix it, but yet my good words and my love and my time with it, with them, that means more to them than anything else than me trying to be a doctor. And guess what? If you're not a doctor, you don't go try to fix somebody and give solutions to them. Just go be a good ear, a good shoulder and giving your love and time. And then that right there will shift that person's whole energy into a whole different state. You know, Brother JJ is not in here this morning. He is busy doing his fossil works, but he says it all the time. You're walking into a, a store or a restaurant or something. Hold the door open for somebody. You know, that's a kind gesture that you did for them. That person wasn't expecting that, but yet that may shift their whole energy and thought process of the way they look at people. You know, because they may have walked in saying, I hate people. I don't want to talk to people. Keep me away from people, you know, and then all of a sudden you do something nice for them and they're like, wow. You know, thank you for that. They wasn't expecting it. So it shifted their life just a little bit. So that's where we talk about the words that you give to yourself as well, guys. The words that you wake up and you give to you every day is more powerful to kickstart that day than anything else. You know, because if you get up and say, you are awesome, you are handsome, you are beautiful, you are a creator, you can accomplish these tasks that you have set down today. And what I say by task, if you haven't scheduled out your day, your day will run you. 
we all know that we got a job we got to go clock into. We got tasks we got to take care of there. You know, we got lunchtime here with somebody. We got to, you know, finish up the work. And then when we get off work, we got to go cook supper or we've got to go meet somebody for, you know, you know, fellowship or whatever you're doing. Now you've scheduled out your day and you have done that with intention. But if you just wake up and say, oh, all right, well, what's the day going to bring? Well, guess what? You may not like what it brings, you know? So get descriptive on what you have to do and, and your tasks that you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis and the direction that you're wanting your life to go. Once you get very descriptive on where you want your life to go, what I'm saying is get descriptive, very descriptive. Because I ask people all the time, they, they say, well, you know, I said, well, what do you want your life to be in a year's time frame? Oh, well, I want a new house. Cool. What kind of house is that? And they're like, well, I don't know. Well, then you're not getting descriptive. Get very detailed on what you want within that year's time frame. I want a two-story house or a single-story house. Do I want two bedrooms or three bedrooms? Do I want one bath or two baths? You know, what color is the front door? You know, because if you're not getting that detailed in your descriptions on what you want, then guess what? He may bring you a cardboard box with a roof over it. That could be a home. So get descriptive. You say, I want, you know, a hundred thousand, you know, I want money in my bank account. We all want money in our bank account. How much money do you want in that bank account? You know, you want, uh, you know, because if you don't get very descriptive in that, guess what? They might give you a dollar. They gave you money in your bank account. So get descriptive on what you truly want and the way you want it to go. I want to build a business. Cool. What kind of business? You know, I want to build a, a business page on social media. Cool. What are you going to bring to that page? Just throwing a picture up there and saying, hey, I built a page does not is not the same thing, guys. You know, you have to get very descriptive in that page of what people are going to get from that page, the value that they're going to get from that page, the value from you, the videos, the information, the benefits of whatever you've got, you know, get descriptive in what you're doing in your day as you're writing down your goals. 30 days, 60 days, 90 days, one year goals. And then you have given the universe and God intentions of what you're truly wanting to do in life. It's a good day. It's a good energy. It's a good vibration to be here to give off awesome frequencies on a day-to-day -day basis. I love and appreciate everybody right here. I thank everybody for coming in on a day-to-day -day basis to spend their time with us. I thank you for this computer that we're able to record this on every morning. It's an awesome day. I'm going to open it up to Brother Julio. No matter what, if you have life in your bones, you got life in your body this morning, then you are blessed. Understand that. So we always say it, and we say it almost every morning, life is about perspective. You know, if you change your perspective, it'll change your life, number one, and it'll change the outcome of your life, you know, and the things that you're hoping for. You know, so, so be encouraged in life this morning. Be encouraged that no matter what you're going through, no matter what the situation, no matter what the circumstance, if you, if you can go ahead and check your pulse, and you still got life in the, in, in the bones and your body you still got breath in your lungs. You have clothes on your back, shoes on your feet that you are blessed in itself. You know, um, I was just writing some notes while Thomas was talking. Um, so I just want to uh, uh, see, I, I was just writing basically to stay the course, stay the course in, in reference to encouragement. Um, you know, remember to, to stay plugged into your life source. You know, don't be discouraged. Regardless of situations and circumstances, you know, instead of viewing difficulty as something that is seeking to tear you down and um, not, you know, take away from who you are, who you're working towards becoming, you know, view that difficulty as an opportunity, view that difficulty as, as a, a means to push you forward in your goals and your aspirations and what you hope for, what you most desire. You know, the word says, seek first the kingdom of God and all the things will be added. You know, so if your hope is in the Lord, you know, let it be in the Lord and put your trust in your source. You know, that's why it's important to tap into your source every single day. You guys know my position in Christ, you know, and as a result, no matter what I'm going through, I make it and you know, I'm very intentional. I make it a point to go ahead and stay plugged in every single morning because the second I don't, it's easy to it's easy to be negative. It's easy to have that perspective that the world has, you know, and, and thinking from a negative state of mind, it's easy to to subject ourselves to that. You know, that is that autopilot feature that we often talk about on here, you know, on, you know, that's what everybody else is doing. You know, it, it's easy to go with the flow. 
Let's keep it real. It's easy to do what everybody else is doing. It's easy to be negative. You know, neg negativity is in our nature, you know, but the reason why I believe we're called to be the light is because there's darkness, you know, everywhere in the earth. You know, we were speaking about that yesterday, being the salt of the earth and being the light of the earth. You know, it's important to shine your light and shine your light bright, you know, for all to see. You know, there, if, if you consider yourself, you may or may not consider yourself a leader, but I've always can try to consider myself a leader. Even when I was following others, you know, I saw the righteousness in them. I saw the rightness in their heart, how they were living, saw aspects and people I looked up to growing up, you know, and I saw greatness in them, the aspects that I wanted to adopt, you know, at, to be my character, to be a part of who I was as an individual, you know? So I just think it's really important to just continue to be the light, you know, and we are the, you know, the, the light is the light for a reason because there's there's darkness, you know, people are ne negative in the world, you know, so you can't avoid that negativity, you know, but but continue to shine your light and be encouragement to to whomever and, and whoever, you know, um, I've spoken to you guys about, you know, I, you know, there's a reason why you're in that place of employment. There's a reason why, you know, you are here, you're there, you're working in a job that you're working to. There's a reason why people continue to flock to you, you know, why people talk to you, why people open up to you and things of that nature, you know, because you're called to be the light in the midst of darkness. You know, if I was talking about this as far as the, being the salt, you know, if you're not, you cooking a nice juicy steak with no seasoning, you know, it'll be, it's still steak at the end of the day. But, but if you season that bad boy right with the nice, with the good amount of salt, it's going to taste a lot better. Well, we're that salt, you know, life can be a, a lot more enjoyable, a lot more pleasant, you know, but it's important for us to stay plugged in to our life source so we can be that life source to other people and lead them in the right way. You know, and be that salt, so to speak, and give a good flavor towards what's going on in our lives and our everyday lives. Mm -hmm. You know, so just stay encouraged, man, no matter what you guys are going through, no matter what life shows you, you know, use use life situations to continue to push you and go forward. You know, that's what I'm doing. You know, the word tells me today is the lay that the Lord has made. You know, I will rejoice and be glad in it. So one, another day that I am blessed, you know, we speak about uh, the magic, you know, and the practice of, of the magic and just being thankful for the smallest of things. You know, life is about perspective. So if you look at things from the wrong perspective, then you'll begin to to uh, uh, start to, to sway towards that trend, you know, and, and looking at life from a glass half empty perspective versus looking at life from a positive perspective. And you know what? My glass isn't half empty. It is half full. No, you it's know? Yeah. <laughs> He said it's refillable. <laughs> it's refillable with some, with some good water. <laughs> there you go. And you're sitting there talking. Yeah, put the right things in it. Yeah, you're talking about steak and gins at the gym right now. So, wow, you're just helping her out tremendously this morning. It's okay, that's pro protein, Jen. Get your protein in. I, I know you have to have something in your body before you're burning off them calories. So <laughs> It's all good, man. Yeah, so just be encouraged this morning, man, no matter what, man. You know, um, I, I like that post, and I know we've all seen it, you know, in the last couple of weeks, in the last year or whatever, you know, that if you're going to hell, if you're going through hell, you know, um, don't stop, keep going, <laughs> you know, and that's the reality of life, man. You know, we all go through different situations and, you know, there's there are different hurdles and, and, and there's detours that are put in front of us. I just think it's, it's so important to stay the course no matter what. It's so important to, to continue driving forward. It's, you know, it's so important to keep pushing forward. You know, um, no matter what the situation, you know, be encouraged in that, man. Be encouraged that, you know, because of what you want and what you, your heart's desires are, you know, that if you stay plugged and you, you continue to push forward and have the right mindset day in and day out, day in and day out, the results will speak for itself. You know, if you have a defeated mindset, it's because you relinquished your mindset. You surrendered your mindset. You surrendered who you are, your will, and what your hopes and your desires were, were or are you know, for something less than when you're created to have something greater, you know, so don't live life in lack, don't live life in the, I don't have anything, you know, like I said, look at life from the proper perspective, which is, Hey, my glass is half full. It's not half empty. That's it. Every day, bringing the attention, the purpose, the focus, the words to what you were talking about right here. You know, you got to give that to you first. Kickstart your day with you giving you intentions and the words to uplift you. Because, you know, I say it all the time. If you're not uplifting yourself, you know, nobody else is going, you know, to do that for you. You can hear it on podcasts all the time. You can do this and then, but yet you have to give yourself the encouraging words and you have to give the intentions to everything that you're talking about. 
you know, because if you say you want that and then you go out there and it, you're standing face to face with it and then all of a sudden you say, well, uh, I can't do that. Well, then guess what? You just threw your, you know, the opportunity that you asked for that morning out the window, you know, because if you ask for it and then now you're faced with, you know, oh, uh, I, I, I couldn't do that. Yeah. So give yourself the intentions and know that you can. That's the best part about it. We all joined into this world for adventure. We all joined into this world to be creators and inventors. Now, get out there and take that adventurous life. Take that adventurous soul that you have within you and make shit happen because nobody else is going to make it happen for you. And then when you do have a win-win of whatever you're going for, pat yourself on the back, give yourself a hug, go get yourself an ice cream like I do. Mike, you got something? I see something on there. Good morning. Good morning. Just wanted to touch on what you guys were saying. Can you hear me okay? Yes, sir. All right. So, yeah, I just wanted to touch on what both Julio and you were both saying uh, because yesterday, first thing in the morning, what I thought started off as a good morning in, in my own mindset uh, quickly turned right upside down and I had a little episode, you know, real turmoil, the stuff that just makes you sweat. So, I had that happen to me yesterday morning, but uh, you know, it's before I even left home. And so once I left, given the tools that I've learned over the past year in my personal development and through, you know, all of the advice from our amazing friends who are all on here, I was able to use the tools given to me in order to turn my mood right around in minutes. And I mean, like for me, that used to be almost impossible. But I left the house, I got in the car, I started filling my mind with all the positive uh, affirmations, my, my motivational YouTube videos that I'll watch in the morning, everything that I could just flood my mind with in order to defeat all the negative that was going on. And in doing so, not only did I get a resolution in record time, that I, I couldn't believe how fast that everything actually turned back around and it was okay again. Uh, I won't go into the details of personal stuff. And not only that, but I went on to have an exceptional and very, very productive day. Like, I mean, super productive. So, guys, just remember what we focus on is what you're going to feel and think. You're not going to be able to, I mean, I mean, you have to starve your distractions and feed your focus. That's like my main motto these days. And you got to keep starving those distractions and do whatever you have to do to infiltrate yourself with all the positivity. Because if you even give yourself an ounce of room to think about anything negative, you're going to go that way. You're going to start feeling that way. You have to literally just say, I'm not going to think about any of that stuff. Just, just don't. Do the complete opposite. Um, anyways, I love you guys. And I just wanted to come out and say that. Just, you know, it is what, you, what we think is who we are. But you guys just have to understand it is real. It's a real, real thing. So love you. Have a great day, guys. Mm, thank you. Awesome message right there, guys of a manifestation because he gave it a focus and he gave it a drive and he gave it intentions of what he wanted instead of feeding the negative. Like he said, so easy to do that every day. So easy to get up and turn on that TV and feed your life with negative. So easy to listen to some of the stuff in the newspapers, this, that, and the other that will feed you every day on. Yeah. Fighting the gremlins out of our head, fighting the demons, you know, cause there's many days that, you know, when I was in my darkness of life that, yeah, I sat there in front of the mirror, you know, talking to looking at me, my eyes, and I look deeper and I look deeper until I actually found my light and myself with inside of me. And I was able to say, you know what, demons, no more. You will not be rolling my life. You're not having me with negativity anymore. Them, grim them gremlins sure as hell don't look like gizmo. I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> not at all. And, and they will every hour, right? Whether they're your sugar gremlins, your smoking gremlins, your I'm not doing the business gremlins, your I don't want to go to work gremlins. You got to beat those triggers every day. I did. You know, we're fighting them every day. So you have to get up and know that that's what we keep saying with purpose, with intention and fighting off those gremlins and those demons every day. Love that. Yeah, gizmo is cute. I got a bunch of little grim, uh, gizmos over here right now. Carol's fostering a bunch of little, you know, seen them yesterday on the, uh, the host, you know, cute little puppies and their eyes are open today and they'll be running around. So guess what? There'll be more barking. There'll be more noise. There'll be, oh my 
God, this house is just full of energy all the time. And when they turn, and when they're older, Thomas, they're gonna turn into some gremlins tearing stuff up. <laughs> Man, good luck on that one, brother. No, they're gonna get some forever homes. Forever homes. There we go. Yeah, we're just fostering. They, they're just here for a moment. But you know, Carol gives her love to those. And that's her passion, and that is her purpose. That is what she's here for. Julio said it a while ago. You're at that job for a reason. You've been to all the other jobs that you've been throughout your lifetime so far for a reason. A reason in a season, as I think what Benita likes to say, you know, is that you're you're there for a purpose of time because you're either shifting somebody else's life, you're shifting your life, you're learning something new that's going to make you a stronger person to where you can be better at the next phase of what he is about to put into your life. You know, because he is not going to just throw you off into a pit and say that you're ready for this. He is going to make sure he brings you through some trials and tribulations to see how you handle those situations before he brings you to the bigger picture and the bigger forefront that you're going to be in. The so, word says to whom much and given much is required, Thomas, plain and simple. So we go through fire so that way when we get to that promised land, we can appreciate it that much more and go, ah, I've been through some stuff and now I know what it is going to take in order to maintain where I'm at. And now I'm going to know what it takes in order to enjoy this moment. You look back and you go, it was all worth it, baby. All worth it. The, yeah. Like I said, the darkness of, uh, you know, where I was at in 2012 of not wanting to be here on this earth. But after I had that surgery and was down for 18 months and it made me feel about that big because I was having other people in my family having to assist me to stay alive. You know, and then once I seen the bigger picture now, when I started this in 2016 uh, with the social media aspect of all this, that right there, I seen the bigger picture of what he was bringing me through before to know that I could handle and be able to bring the words out here on a day to day basis to help and assist other people and to shift their lives and to get them out of the darkness just as well. You know, so now I see, you know, the pictures of where he had me and what he brought me through and why he brought me through that. So now there's a bigger aspect to all of this. There's more people that I need to touch still. There's more people that I need to be in tune with. And was I a social media person before? No, not really. I'd scroll through and see family and pictures because I was always traveling uh, for work wise and never home. So that was the only way I was in touch with my family. But yet the social media aspect exploded for me to be a, a bigger picture for this platform that we see this morning. And then all the other pages that I have out there that are touching people's lives, whether it's the life coaching or whether it's the building the business or whether it's the products that we deal with or the services, I have more people that I still need to touch. So I know that he brought me through the darks of depth of darkness for a reason. But just now when you can get in tune with you and your full understanding of your heart and your full chi in your life and you getting in full attunement, then you will start to see why you went through those. It's a setup. Well, not a setback. That's it. It's a setup, not a setback. You know, he's setting us up for better greatness. He's setting us up to be able to touch more people in this world. Thank you. I like that, Renee. That was awesome. You know, because if it wouldn't have been for all of this that I started here in 2016, then I wouldn't have met any of y'all right here. I wouldn't have been able to get the inspiration that I have gotten from y'all. I wouldn't have gotten the good words that I needed from y'all, you know, because I am a sponge just as well as I give out, you know, because I absorb all information that comes in from all aspects from each and every one of you throughout the social media or whether it's through phone calls or emails or whatever shape, form or fashion that we're contacting each other. Being a life coach now has shifted my entire life to know, that I am going into a better state, into a better realm, and that I am well prepared for that as that's coming for me. You know, so this is an awesome life and an awesome day. Brother Ryan is, uh, you know, out traveling today. They had more snow, so he's going to help out. So he's not able to read today. Uh, Shiloh hasn't got hooked back up yet. So I'm going to open up the platform to anybody that wants to bring out a message or something that they want to say today about what we have been talking about. Just raise your hand and I'll pull you out. Go ahead, Christy. Okay. Can you hear me? Um, so last night I was thinking about, it's kind of cool on my drive home. I have two different options on how to get home. And for quite a while, I've been taking the longer route. It's more scenic. Um, it's kind of dark right now, but it's still kind of this long, peaceful drive. And every night I, it's like, I get this epiphany. It's like, so I love that drive. It's just something that feeds me and 
And I was thinking about, um, and I posted about it, wants and needs. And, um, you know, like we all have basic needs, comfort, food, um, shelter, clothing, things like that. And we have to take care of those. And then sometimes, I don't know, maybe it was my aspect, but the wants, like the wants are selfish or the wants are wrong. And I was thinking of this funny story that my dad was taking my sister and I to the hot springs and I needed a swimsuit. So grandma took me shopping and I wanted like this two piece and they were almost $20. And back then it was a lot of money. And she's like, no, you don't need that. And we went shopping and shopping and, and finally we're at like this discount store and I get the nine ninety nine special. And so I needed a swimsuit. So we go to the hot springs and the design of it had like all this kind of ruching, so all this fabric. And after a while, it literally was like sagging down to my knees because there's so much fabric. And it was, of course, my sister thought it was hilarious. And no, it's funny, but it's a stupid story. But it reminds me of, I needed a swimsuit, but I didn't get what I wanted. But I succumbed to what grandma thought I needed. And I could have, you know, gone out babysitting and raised the money for the swimsuit I wanted. And that, I guess the bottom line is thinking about the intention of what you need and what you want. I mean, those are my intentions. Now, yes, I could be selfish about it. But what a difference to me, what it just really, I don't know, made something click. Like I could say, I need to um, get out of debt. But when you want to, I mean, there's so much power in that. I mean, that's huge. That's kind of like, get out of my way. I'm going to get it done. And it's okay if that's what I want to do. Um, because it's not causing, you know, it's not causing harm on anybody. But just really, like you need both of them. I used to always think one was selfish and one wasn't. And I think that that's why I've settled for less so many times in my life. And I don't know. It was just kind of the coolest thing to be like I can go after what I want and if I know how bad I want it then I'm gonna get it and you guys were kind of talking about that with the things today and it's like yeah it's okay to want that and like you said if you want it go get it now you're probably going to turn around and say, you know, I want this in my life. And then you're going to turn around and you're going to talk to somebody else over there about it that don't understand your true want and your true desire for it. And they're going to say, well, are you really know that's a waste of money. You know, do you need that in your life? Are you going to, you know, you can't do that. La, da, 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 this that, and the other. They probably couldn't have done that. But if you truly want it, like you said, you will make it happen. You know, I, I love it. Those guys that always tell me that, you know, oh, I can't do, you know, can't do that, can't do this. You know, I don't have the money for that. But then you turn around and you see them posting new pictures of a new truck or a new bass boat or a new four-wheeler or a new side-by-side, -side, a new shotgun. And it's like, hmm, really the, what we talked about and then what that cost was, yeah, that, you know, come on, guy. You really didn't want it. You know, so if somebody truly wants something like Christy is saying, they will go for it and they will make it happen no matter who says what. Because it really doesn't matter. Their opinions. Their opinions doesn't pay your bills. Their opinions do not put food on your tables. Their opinions do not keep that roof over your head. If you were doing that for yourself already, then theirs doesn't really matter. Because their lack of, of their ability to want something or to know that they have the power to be able to go get it, whole different story. You know? So awesome, Christy. Definitely go after what your heart desires. What makes you happy within here? What keeps you with a smile on your face? What keeps you with a happy step going down the street every day? You know, because I know every day that I wake up that those that are around me support me because if they didn't support me, they wouldn't be in my life because I am that type that if you're not going to support me in the things that I am doing, I do not need you, you know? So that's what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. I rock with those who want to rock with me. And then we have a good time doing it every day. All right, well, and whoever else don't like it, we tell them to kick rocks. Kick rocks, Thomas. That's it, baby. You know, because it, it is your life. Go for what you want every day. All right, we'll open up one more time before we wrap this baby up this morning. Anybody else got anything that they want to bring out? Just raise your hand. Go ahead, Renee. Hey, Thomas. 
There you go. Gotcha. Hi, everybody. I'm new to this and I um, want to uh, say thank you for all the welcomes. And um, I just wanted to share, I was, I was uh, hit in a collision uh, about a week or so ago. And it was really, really awesome the fact that I already had a lot of this mindset in going for me. And so I didn't have any anger. I, would, I didn't have any frustration. I didn't have any, um, any negative feelings. My, my immediate feeling was, is everyone okay? And I did experience some frustration because there was a little, there was, there was some stuff to it that um, was indirectly caused it. But the overall thing was, even now, I'm carless. And they're saying that my car's not going to be ready until the end of February. And even now I'm like, you know, this is totally a setup and I cannot wait to see what great things are going to come from this. Cause I know I'm not going through this for nothing. And so I just wanted to share that with you. That even something as horrible as that I was so blessed that no one, no one was hurt. And that was the, that was the beauty of it. But I just wanted to share that. So thank you for having me, Thomas. I think that was awesome, Renee. Basically, you're just saying, you know, you, you change your perspective. And because you change your perspective, you, you are sitting there waiting. What do we talk about oftentimes, Thomas? The spirit of expectancy. You know, yes. you change your perspective. So you're expecting something great in return based off of what you've been through thus far. You know, yeah. that's a great perspective to have, Renee. It feels good. It feels good. Definitely. Awesome. You know, and that, that's what it's all about. Looking at things with a different eye, with a different mindset, a different aspect of what's going on. Whew, did everybody freeze up or just me? Ah, it is an awesome day, guys. I want to thank everybody that has come out here today to spend their time with us this morning. Um, go out with smiles. Go out with intention. Go out of here. Where, oh, where can Tom <laughs> Where, oh, where can he be? There we go. Oh, no. I am back. No, it's all back. Good. Yeah, oh, We're good, right? Man. <laughs> yes. Can you hear me? Yes? All right. So, yeah. yeah. Internet, internet yeah, like I said, we have been having internet issues, not just here, but throughout the social media platform altogether within the last few days. Um, so if you are experiencing it, I had said that at the very beginning of all this, um, just step away, go do something else, get away from the computer before you pull your hair out and take a sledgehammer to all of this. Um, so if you're experiencing difficulties uh, throughout time of your social media platforms today, uh, just know that there's something going on on uh, through Facebook and through other platforms. Um, I had the you're right, Thomas. I didn't like. I, it was weird. I posted. I posted a bunch of stuff. I didn't get notifications for everything that I had posted until like four hours later, and my phone just went off for like two minutes. It was thrung, 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 and I'm like, "What the heck?" I know people aren't responding right now. This is weird. Yeah. So if you're not the only one. This happening everywhere. You're right. Oh yeah, me and Jen. Yeah, we wanted to kind of throw things around yesterday. <laughs> and, uh, oh yeah. That's okay. So guys, you can't like. I don't know if anyone else is experiencing this, but I can't share anything. I can't like anyone's posts or comments. I can only comment on it. So yeah, Facebook's just doing some stuff. So yeah, like Thomas said, go shoot some content, read a book, work out. There you go. So, all right, guys, I want to thank everybody and I love and appreciate everybody for coming out here today.